Tell me about the basics of this technology. It allows for maximum savings on internal resources. Can we change the configuration? I think there will be a summary later on. Which additional elements for this house can be produced? Yes, we can offer this and we can implement it. Hello everyone. A new business season has started actively in Cyprus. Today we are discussing a technology designed to quickly build affordable housing. Today on our island there's a lot of demand for this. Competing companies continue entering this market with a new construction techniques. Today I want to talk about a new technology presented by a company called PixUp. To tell us all about this technology we have a guest here today, a person you already know. His name is Dima Kovganich. Hello. Hello. Today we're here with Dima, who traveled from Switzerland to Cyprus to introduce this exciting new technology. Let's go inside and see this unique house and learn what makes it special. Oh my god, what amazing view! The right things which you can make for your house is to put this house in the right place. So, in this spacious apartment you have 36 square meters. Here we have the living area you you can join with friends or your family here and look for the amazing landscapes around as well you have the perfect kitchen which already installed here the best materials the best uh, customization for yourself and you have everything what you need for your perfect life also here you can join with your friends for nice beautiful dinner for the this uh, furniture and to see other kind of view from your own house. Actually, you can uh, customize your house how you want, from 36 square meter to 2,000 square meters, what you like. So, and as well, you have perfect amenities which already include in your small house. First of all, it's a bathroom. Just look, look at me, look at me. You see the five-star bathroom which you can use wherever you want, even in the middle of nowhere, because this house could be totally independent from everything, from solar panels to the water, from the um, humidity of uh, the air, everything you can include in this house. As well, you can include nice wardrobe. It's a nice, perfect wardrobe for two people, which you can put everything what you need for your perfect life. For full information about this house's customization, design, furniture and the price, of course, just message me and take all information from direct. Here we are inside. I am really enjoying this house, a clever design, a natural feel and an outstanding view. So tell me this, since the technology is new, how long did it take your company to get everything approved after bringing it to Cyprus? This isn't a simple question. This technology has an interesting story. It started out as a game. One day I was playing with my son, using Jenga cubes to create buildings. We used tape to join pieces together and build something he imagined. Originally, this game inspired the idea of a transformable house. This is the main idea. This house is a transformer, and our job is to produce standard modules, offering a housing solution that's faster and more affordable to transport and build. So yeah, just a year ago this project, this story began with a simple game. And now here we are, sitting inside a prototype house. Gleb, my son, received his inventor royalty payment, so he's happy. Approvals and permits weren't our main concern during this first year. Mostly, we had to educate the local market. It's not easy in Cyprus due to structural and architectural challenges, as well as the limitations because of the size of this market. As of today, we have established suppliers, established internal manufacturing processes, and most importantly, the technology that has no analogs in Cyprus or on the European continent. Most of the manufacturers whose product resembles ours are located in the United States, in China, and then it's us. Our principal market is Europe. These houses are suitable for different tasks. They can be regular residential housing or student housing. They can be hotels, perhaps escape hotels, but also can be used as office space and so on. In your opinion, for the Cyprus market specifically, what type of customer inquiries and what type of use cases will be most frequent here on the island? Currently, Cyprus has a lot of focus and a lot of demand for hotels, escape hotels, recreational spaces of all kinds, and general vacation homes. 
There's also demand for office space, mainly from IT relocants that we want to address. What the local market is lacking today is comfortable yet affordable modules. They can be quickly produced and delivered to Trotos and other mountainous areas, and easily accessed by people who want to relax and enjoy the best views Cypress has to offer. This is the segment we are targeting. This is the market that is already very active today. Let's talk about the structure of this house. People often assume it's a metal frame, but it's not. What materials and technology are used? How are these modules integrated into natural surroundings? These are energy-efficient buildings made from structurally insulated panels with a frame of reinforced glued wood. Obviously, we need to use metal elements in certain spots, but the basis is all natural. Glued wood, strong wood, that we use in our products everywhere, including Cyprus. We emphasize smart use of internal resources. The technology is designed to be as self-sufficient as possible, incorporating solar energy, water generation, and other systems for autonomous, sustainable living. Talk to me about the possibilities of modernizing this house. How much can it actually transform? This is a small house of 36 square meters, but we could use additional modules to build a bigger house of 72 meters or possibly 100 plus square meters. Can we change the height of the ceiling? How adaptable is the configuration and the internal finishing? Of course, we can expand by adding modules. But just like any other module manufacturer, we are inherently limited in what can be built. This is a module with a certain power structure and a definite building concept. Our main product is a module 6x6 meters, a perfect size enabling us to combine identical modules and create buildings of the size the customer wants. Let's say a project requires a 2,000 square meters building. No problem, we can make it happen. It's important to note that for a large-scale project, we would still be using our standard module. This is unlike other module-making companies, who in this situation would offer a much more customized solution. We adhere to a linear production model and at this time only offer a 6x6 meters module to the market. We are now developing a 6x12 module, that's 72 square meters of living space that can be loaded onto a container and transported to Spain, for example. In terms of customization, the ceiling height is quite easy. The customer can choose a standard height of 240 centimeters, as well as 2.6, 2.8, or 3 meters, with a maximum ceiling height of 3.20. Or second level space. Correct. We can combine, we can stack modules on top of each other. This would create a space with a ceiling height of 5 to 6 meters. But that's a slightly different conversation. Talking about a single height module, its maximum height can be up to 3 meters and 20 centimeters. In terms of interior decoration, our modules can be foldable and unfoldable. So we put all the utilities, fitted kitchens, closets, bathrooms, all of these are normally combined into a kind of an engineering technical hub in one part of the house. And just like in this house, the other part of the house is an open space. There should be an overview later showing exactly how these parts fit together inside this home. This open space allows you to create rooms, living spaces, etc. How long does it take to order and set up a house just like this one? Let's say I have my own plot and my architect has already submitted the paperwork. We can start building tomorrow. How much time will you need for this job? The house I want to build is 200 square meters. Producing six modules would take about four to five months. This is just the manufacturing phase. Installing one module normally takes two days. So installing six modules on your plot would take around a week, depending on the weather and the accessibility of the location. So in about six months, as long as you have all your permits ready, we can realize your dream of building a custom designed house A to Z. Apart from the module, what additional features can you add to the house? Customers' projects are often ambitious, and we will always work together to customize to the best of our ability. We can add anything the customer wants. Definitely any outdoor infrastructural elements like pools, terraces, pergolas, parking areas. Vegetable gardens. Sure, why not? 
So every time we look at the customer's requests and the planned budget and we can accommodate and offer the solution. Let's discuss the price range. I'm sure everyone is curious to know the cost of a similar house. How much does a single unit like this cost with a built-in plumbing, a fitted kitchen, a small pantry? With this information, our viewers should be able to calculate the budget necessary for a house that includes six modules. One module, which is actually the most expensive one, since each next module is priced a little lower. One module just like this one, including a complete kitchen, closet and bathroom fully functional. It costs 50,000 euros without VAT. So if we follow the standard logic of creating a residence, let's say, of three modules for 108 square meters total, then the first module will include a kitchen, a bathroom, and a living area. The second module will be split into two rooms, and the third one, most likely, a spa, a small gym or an office, or perhaps a larger master bedroom as a third private room. So the calculations will usually follow this pattern. The first and most expensive Flexus module is 50,000. The second module divided into two rooms will cost around 47, but it really depends. When I say around or from, it's because the final price will depend on the level of customization desired by the client. Right, since a wall unit or an extra bathroom will cost more. Yes, or even the kitchen itself, it can have a different finish, and so it will be priced. Or it could be larger in size. Right, so it is priced differently. And the third module, the open space module, should cost around 43,000 euros. This brings us to the total of not quite 150, but more like 140,000. Okay, and we could then add on a couple terraces costing 16 to 18 thousand, so the total would then be... We should also remember to calculate the price of the foundation. Our price does not include the foundation. The installation costs are extra too, since they depend on the distance, accessibility, complexity of the installation job. It's worth mentioning that, upon customer request, we can also construct the foundation for the modular home we supply. Speaking of foundations, how much would that cost? Assuming we are building on a level base that is sufficiently firm and strong, a basic configuration foundation costs approximately 12,000 euros. So now you have the numbers you need to calculate the price of your dream home if you'd like to build it quickly. Before we filmed, Dima explained to me how cool it is to own a house like this in an area with no electricity, no running water and no sewage. You should know that his guys also offer an autonomous solution. Tell the viewers what is that like. The first thing you need to know, fully self-sufficient systems come at a high price. This is especially true with a completely independent solution, not a half measure that only keeps things running for a couple of hours, similar to a backup battery. You should be ready to pay a lot for a truly autonomous system that provides resources for one to three days of self-sufficient living, with zero outside resources. For a place like Cyprus, the system would definitely need to include solar panels, generating solar power. However, because we design our systems primarily for the European market, we don't rely on solar power as the main energy source. Instead, we offer a hybrid system that combines solar-generated power with a wind generator. The exact mix of solar and wind power depends on the region where the house is delivered and installed. There's also an autonomous sewage system, which recycles almost all wastewater, about 96%, into clean, reusable water. Plus, there's a system to generate water from air. This is actually the most energy-demanding part of the house because it needs a lot of electricity and can't just run on solar power during the day like we discussed earlier. As Cyprus today experiences shortage of water due to low rainfall, it's super helpful to be able to have a predictable water supply of your own. Now I should mention that one of these autonomous resource units, which powers the house, costs about 40,000 euros. This unit can provide sufficient resources for a single residential module that we supply, but it can also be enough for a block of three to four modules. Enough for a family of up to four people. So that's a whole house. Right, exactly. This is enough resources for a single full-sized home with up to four residents. Okay, if you'd like to know more about these houses, whether for personal use, an escape hotel, or perhaps to use it as a business location and so on, reach out to us to get all the information. 
As you can see, Cyprus is growing fast due in no small part to expats from around the globe coming to introduce new technology here. This housing technology is an excellent comfortable solution if you want to start a business, create and launch a group of escape hotels, set up a rehab clinic or quickly build an office or a home in a location you've always dreamt about. To learn more about the technology and the process of purchasing a modular house like this, please get in touch with one of our licensed agents. To stay on top of the latest news about Cyprus living and real estate, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell button and see you on the sunny island.